Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. And for this week's Tech Tuesday, I want to talk about the Android Auto System. So I'm going to show you, uh, you know, how to get started with it, how to uh, go ahead and set it up, uh, how to plug everything in, uh, and then also kind of show you a little bit about some of the, the structure and how to customize it, uh, how to use the navigation in there, and how that all is going to look. So we've been seeing a lot of people come over from the Maverick. Uh, or they get, they're ordering Mavericks and they're coming from other uh, manufacturers or maybe they're getting a vehicle and they're unsure because the XL, XLT doesn't come with Sync 3. They're unsure on some connectivities and what they're going to be able to have when they get their vehicle. So I thought it'd be a great, great opportunity to talk about the Android Auto in this week's Tech Tuesday with Tim. Now we're gonna, I am in my F-150 right now and my F-150 does have Sync 3, uh, does have the 8 inch touchscreen. Now regardless of whether or not it has Sync 3, Maverick will not have Sync 3, but it will have the 8 inch touchscreen with the, on the XL and XLT. Uh, and you will have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as standard equipment on those. So that's gonna be a nice uh, system there. Uh, so now a lot of people have asked, well what do you get when you go to Sync 3? You get you know, 911 Assist, you also get more voice commands so you can control your, you know, your audio and such through uh, using the pressing the button and using the voice commands for that. Uh, and there's been a, a couple other things, something else that I'm, I'm forgetting there, that's also gonna be included. Uh, but even on the XLXLT, you're gonna be able to, you know, you have Bluetooth connectivities, it will be a, a button there. So you can press that to make and receive phone calls. Uh, and then of course you will have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which a lot of people are using this system anymore. I know there's a couple of people in the dealership that uh, they don't even use the Ford system. They plug, they plug theirs into the Apple CarPlay and they use it all the time they're in their vehicle and I really didn't for a while and I did try to I've been trying to use it a little bit more and more lately uh, and I could see the convenience of not having to plug your phone in so there's times where maybe that's the reason why I don't do that so I don't have a cord with me or something so I've been trying to keep this white cord in the vehicle with me at all times so the first thing you want to do when you set this up is you want to make sure that Android Auto is downloaded on your phone so download the app from the App Store whether it be for an you know, iPhone for the you know, CarPlay or Android Auto for your Android phone, you want to download the app first. Uh, of course, download it, open it up, and make sure you have that all set up. Uh, so it's pretty uh, common how to set that up, go through your, your privacy re restrictions and such. Then all you have to do is then plug that in. Using a USB port in there, I'll plug my phone in, and once you do that, then it's going to go ahead and pop it up on the screen. The first time, you will have to go ahead and confirm some things. So I'm giving you some screenshots. You can see there some of the screenshots. You have to enable that. You have to hit continue instead of disable, and then you also have to go through those agreements for the privacy. Once you do that, you're good to go, and it's going to pop up on the screen. Preloaded with some apps already in there, and uh, so I'm going to show you real quick. Hopefully, you can see real good on the camera here. Yep. Okay, we're good there. So you can just hit the little uh, circle there, and it's going to pull up and go to your apps. So you're going to see these aren't actually the preloaded. I've actually customized these a little bit. So I'm going to show you kind of how to how to do that here, um, pretty easy easily here in a second. Uh, but I want to kind of show you some of the overview. At the bottom is going to be the last app that we've been using, which in this case. A Sirius XM. I was uh, listening to that earlier. You, your notifications are down there as well as a little speaker button. That's your little microphone. So I could just press that and uh, use the voice commands using the Android system's voice commands. In this case, it's the Google Assistant commands to be able to, uh, you know, make phone calls if I want to, send text messages, and that kind of thing using those voice commands by pressing that. Or I could just say the command that lets it listen. So I don't even have to use my fingers to press a button like you do on the Ford system. I can actually say that phrase uh, that Google likes so and it'll pop up so uh, so pretty easy to jump in and out of this as well so in this case in the newer versions uh, you would just uh, hit this Ford sync right here uh, and you click on that and it's gonna take you back so not sure what it's gonna look like on the Maverick we'll do a full detail of that uh, when we get some Mavericks in stock uh, but it takes you right back to this screen and you'll see instead of my vehicle does have navigation on-screen navigation But instead of seeing the navigation you're seeing maps now So now maps is there instead of navigation So it's giving you that that look so if you wanted the main reason you might want to switch out of that is if you want to change your radio stations I can go in here and change uh, right now. I'm listening to the radio, but I can listen to you know this vehicle actually does have um, Sirius XM if I wanted to but I'm actually not signed up or subscribed to Sirius XM and I'll show you why in a little bit. Uh, so I do have, uh, well, I'll tell you right now, I have Sirius XM in one vehicle. My wife wants the on-screen 
uh, XM, Sirius XM. I like listening to one of the, the uh, radio stations here that broadcast in from a station that I like to listen to. So I just listen to that instead. I'm pretty simple that way. And then if I want to, I'll show you how I can listen to Sirius XM through an app because we do have it on one vehicle. Or if you want to subscribe and get, uh, get it as well, you can do just the Sirius XM app. Uh, sign up and subscription and then you'd have SiriusXM on your phone whenever you wanted to or on the computer online and then you just plug your phone in and you can use it through here like I'm going to show you in a little bit so uh, that's how I go about that so let's go back to the home screen if I just click the Android Auto down at the bottom I'll go back into the to the Android Auto right there and that's how that's going to look right there uh, so uh, you're going to see you know things that are on there you know you do have you know different icons that are up there you can see your maps your google news some of the th common things uh, phone and such that can't be customized a uh, calendar messages ways app so you have two different navigation systems and settings are right there so you know within your settings there's not a lot there uh, do you want to show messages do you not do you want to silent notifications uh, that kind of thing uh, we're going to actually do that right now just so that <laughs> we don't keep getting notifications and then also you have some other things automatically resume media so if you get a notification that gets interrupted uh, so you'll get that notification sound and then it'll interrupt your media and then the media will come right back uh, do you want to show weather that kind of thing on there you can choose your wallpaper day and night uh, mode for maps uh, you can click into that so I won't go into too much in there. there's not a lot of different settings to go through there and if I hit the circle again it takes me back to the home screen now if I go to uh, the customize then I can customize what I want on there it says to go to the phone so unlock your phone so we'll unlock our phone here there we go and then it brings up the custom launcher here see so can you see that on the screen there we go uh, and you can see uh, things that have to show up like your maps your sync your phone settings those have to show up but then these others can be unchecked if I don't want Google News so I can uncheck that and it takes it off uh, let's say I don't want the Waze app I have the Google Maps I'm good with that uh, you can go down here uh, and then you can also check other things so let's say I want audible instead so I might listen to something on book uh, you know a book on the on there or if I want Spotify then I click on that so now that I've done that I can go out of that um, and then it's going to uh, it will change it on here so it doesn't change it immediately so I think if I go out of this let's hit that and go out uh, and then go back into Android Auto and see if see if it's changed there Google News is still there so that didn't do it so usually what I do is I just unplug the phone and then when I plug it back in the next time it's usually updated so let's see how it does there for us Plus on the circle now we have audible there and we have Spotify we don't have Google News anymore and Waze app is gone so uh, real nice that's how you would customize pretty easy to use uh, like in this case I do have the Sirius XM app and so when I want to listen to Sirius XM I can just click on that to Sirius XM and then it's automatically gonna go ahead and start playing Sirius XM for me if I want to uh, and then I can go ahead and just hit that little back arrow and I can go use Sirius XM if I want to uh, you can have favorites in there so you can go also you have favorite channels you like you can go to your your fa I don't have anything in favorites but you can add different channels shows episodes that you like or you want to listen to are, are going to be preloaded in there and then that way you can just click on the presetting channels that you like and those will uh, and that's real easy to use so again if you have Sirius XM on your phone app then you do have Sirius XM so even though the XL XLT does not come standard with the Sirius XM radio you got to go up to Lariat here, there's a way for you to get Sirius Satellite Radio if you want to. Just uh, you know, purchase that through Sirius uh, for your phone, and then you have it. So, and I'm not sure if you know Sirius does that or not. I know that my, since my other vehicle come, comes with it, I was able to add tack on that one thing for the the Sirius XM online. But I'm assuming you'd be able to do that uh, through Sirius. So uh, nice and easy to use. Now the maps is also very easy to use. You can search for a location real easy. Uh, my home's in there. And because it's using Google, it's seeing places that I've, I've frequented there and putting those up here on this list. And it's showing me how long it is to get there so I can click on those. Uh, so uh, real easy to, to get to uh, for that. Um, so I can, I can do that. Or I can say with voice commands where I want to go to, you know. Um, okay, Google navigate to Tony's event center Tony's pizza event center all right so there you go that's an arena in town Tony's pizza event center may be closed by the time you arrive so it's it's telling me that I may be arrived because I'm, I'm recording this kind of late so I can real easy to be able to do that and just start that navigation uh, by voice commands I didn't have to touch anything 
uh, I didn't have to type it in and it popped it right up so it's using your Google Maps and such I think it's probably works better than Ford system honestly uh, so that might be something to think about anyway so uh, I think and this would work better than than theirs so uh, real nice and easy to use if you have phone calls come in of course you can answer those uh, by clicking on that if you, a text message comes in then you can click to re click on it to see that text message uh, and it'll actually play it off for you and then it'll actually ask you if you want to reply and if you do then it listens and it records what you want to say and then if you like it then you can go ahead and send it or you can retry or you can cancel it so I love how that works uh, so I've even I've had some apps like uh, messenger uh, Google Messenger if you or uh, Facebook Messenger uh, if you have uh, you know a messenger up and people message you through the messenger same way you can click on it you can then listen to it and then you can uh, it asks you if you want to reply back and you can and you can reply back and it listens to you and does that I think it's actually a better system and a little bit easier to use than uh, than Ford system really to be honest uh, and so it's a very easy to use in fact I mean it's so easy to use I don't think I need to talk really about anything else I mean you know again you can just just make sure you customize it make sure you're connected download the app a uh, pretty simple to use uh, using your, your voice commands from your phone uh, that's why you really don't even need to use the button I mean if you're connected and using the Google the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay you can then just say the the key phrase uh, for it to start listening and then you can just start doing what you need to uh, without even having to touch the button some people have asked about that if it don't have that button but Ford has has confirmed with me with the brand manager that they will have the call button so you can make and receive phone calls through the system if you don't have your phone plugged in uh, some of the Android auto or some of the Android phones you can actually connect to the Ford pass without plugging in uh, so I don't I don't currently do that because I want to just be able to do it when I want it instead of automatically doing it right away so that's why I'm not I don't I'm not doing it wirelessly but if you have an Android phone you can use Android Auto wi wirelessly uh, but the Apple one you do have to plug in so the the Ford's newest system the Sync 4 system allows you to be able to do it wirelessly with an with an Apple phone but for right now only the Android phone so I'm not trying that so I'm not sure on that 100% on the Sync 3 but you should be able to go wireless on an Android with Android Auto if you want to so again I think that's pretty much the end of this video really it's very simple easy to understand and follow uh, so I just kind of don't want to kind of do an overview with you so if you're looking to get a Maverick uh, an XL or XLT feel comfortable that you're gonna have a navigation system you can use the Android Auto Apple CarPlay to have a navigation if you want Sirius XM you know see I uh, think I'll, I'll actually do some checking and see if you can go ahead and sign up for that ahead of time and uh, um, when this video goes live on Tuesday night, when you're going to be watching this video, I should have those answers and put it in the in the chat there for you. Uh, so you should be able to do that. But you can always use Spotify. You can use Audible if you want to listen to things on book uh, or books on audio. Uh, you can do that. Calendar shows up, messages. I mean, it's very easy to use, and a lot of people are just using Android Auto Apple CarPlay anymore. So hopefully you really did enjoy this video, and you'll enjoy some of our other Tech Tuesday videos every week. Uh, every Tuesday so if you have some suggestions some things to do to, to discuss and talk about when it comes to tech on these vehicles or maybe even just a feature that you want any more information on leave those down in the comments I love getting that feedback so we can have future uh, subjects for the, for the future Tech Tuesdays uh, here uh, coming up also if you like this video smash that like button if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel yet hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over to the channel hit the notification bell you also get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. We do walk around videos as well on the different Ford vehicles specific to the model and trim. So definitely check those videos out as well on our YouTube channel. Uh, very thorough with those just like I am with most of my other videos if, if you've been watching our channel and, watch, and keeping track of that. Uh, but for those that are new, uh, we're very thorough with those videos. I think you really uh, appreciate some of the information that we're getting, giving you in the different content of those videos so uh, hopefully you do uh, like this and uh, hopefully don't forget you can find us on social media we're at Law MacArthur on Facebook Twitter and Instagram so be looking for us uh, different social media posts on those different uh, social media platforms follow us there as well uh, and of course you can follow me as well I'm on Twitter I'm at Tim Bartz on Twitter as well if you want to follow me and see what's going on with uh, what, what I have going on not only here at Law MacArthur um, but in my own life as well so again thanks for watching this video really appreciate it and hope you enjoyed it and until next week We'll see you later.